Imagine this. Every morning, millions of people crack open an egg, or two, or sometimes none at all, because they still remember the warnings from decades ago. Eggs raise cholesterol. Eggs clog arteries. Eggs are bad for the heart. But what if all of that was wrong? What if the food we've been told to avoid is actually one of the most nutrient-dense, protective, and longevity-supporting foods on the planet? And what if eating three to four eggs a day could strengthen your muscles, stabilize your energy, protect your eyes and brain, and even improve the way your body repairs itself? Today, we're breaking down exactly what happens inside your body when you eat eggs daily, the real science, the real benefits, and the real ways to use them to support healthy aging. And by the end, you'll understand why eggs aren't just breakfast. They're one of nature's most complete survival foods. Let's clear up the biggest fear first. For those of us who grew up in the era when eggs were practically demonized, it's hard to shake that worry. You'd see the headlines, hear the warnings from doctors, maybe even feel a little guilty cracking that shell. But here's what we know now, backed by modern research. Eggs in no way, shape or form cause the kind of cholesterol problems we were taught to fear. Here's why. The cholesterol you eat in food, what we call dietary cholesterol, isn't the same as the cholesterol floating around in your bloodstream. Your liver is incredibly smart. When you eat more cholesterol, your liver simply makes less. When you eat less, it ramps up production. It's a balancing act your body has been doing since you were born. The myth came from older studies that didn't account for other factors like what people were eating alongside their eggs. Toast with butter, bacon, sugary cereals, those variables matter. But when you isolate eggs and look at them honestly, the story changes completely. And for those of us over 65, this distinction is critical. Because avoiding eggs out of fear might mean we're missing out on nutrients. Our bodies desperately need nutrients that become harder to produce or absorb as we age. So if you've been holding back, I want you to let that worry go. The cholesterol myth has been rewritten. And now we can talk about what eggs actually do for you. But cholesterol is just the beginning. To understand why eggs are so powerful, we need to look deeper at what an egg actually is. Think about it this way. When you eat a piece of chicken, a steak, or a fillet of fish, you're eating muscle tissue. That muscle was designed to contract, relax, and move an animal through the world. It's a specific kind of protein with a specific job. But an egg, an egg isn't muscle. It's not tissue from a living animal. It's something far more extraordinary. It's a self-contained package of everything needed to build an entire living creature from scratch. That might sound poetic, but it has real implications for your body. First, eggs have what's called the highest biological value of any protein source. What does that mean in plain language? It means that when you eat an egg, your body absorbs and uses more of that protein than almost anything else you could eat. It's efficient, it's clean, and for aging bodies that may struggle with digestion or nutrient absorption, that efficiency matters immensely. Second, let's talk about fuel. Your body can use protein as an energy source, but not all proteins are equal in this regard. When you eat lean meat, say chicken breast or piece of white fish, your body can only convert somewhere between 10 and 20% of that protein into usable fuel. The rest gets used for tissue repair, enzyme creation, and other structural purposes, which is important, but it doesn't give you energy. Now compare that to an egg, because of the yolk, the rich golden center packed with healthy fats, your body can use up to around 65% of the entire egg as fuel. That's a massive difference. And it's one reason why people who eat eggs in the morning often report feeling satisfied, energized, and clear-headed for hours. There's a historical example that drives this home. Explorers who tried to survive on extremely lean meat, like rabbit, without any fat, became seriously ill. Some even died. It's called rabbit starvation. Your body simply can't thrive on protein alone. You need fat for fuel, for hormone production, for brain function, for life. The egg gives you both. It's a complete food in the truest sense. But there's more to this story. Eggs aren't just nutritionally complete, they're also naturally protective. Inside that egg white, there are compounds designed to fight off bacteria. These are antimicrobial proteins that exist for one reason, to protect the developing life inside the shell. And when you eat that egg, you're getting those protective benefits too. Now, you may have heard years ago that raw egg whites could bind up biotin, a B vitamin, and cause a deficiency. That was true in extreme cases, like bodybuilders chugging down a dozen raw eggs a day. But here's the thing, when you cook the egg, 
that binding effect goes away completely. So as long as you're eating your eggs cooked, which most of us do, there's nothing to worry about. What I want you to take away from this is simple. An egg is not just another protein. It's not interchangeable with a protein shake, a chicken breast, or a can of tuna. It's fundamentally different because it was designed by nature to do something extraordinary to create life. And that design translates into extraordinary nutrition for us. Now that we know how unique the egg is, let's talk about what it actually delivers, because this is where things get impressive. When I say eggs are packed with nutrients, I don't mean they have a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I mean, they contain concentrated bioavailable forms of some of the most important compounds your body needs, especially as you age. Let's start with muscle and strength. After 65, most of us start to lose muscle mass. It's called sarcopenia, and it's one of the biggest threats to independence and quality of life. But here's the good news. You can slow it down, even reverse it, with the right nutrition and movement. Eggs contain all of the essential amino acids your body needs to build and repair muscle tissue, and they're particularly rich in one called leucine, which acts like a signal to your muscles, telling them to grow and stay strong. You can think of leucine as the foreman on a construction site. Without it, the workers don't know what to do. Eating eggs regularly gives your body that signal every single day. Then there's your brain. One of the most underrated nutrients in eggs is something called choline. Most people have never even heard of it. But choline is absolutely essential for memory, for focus, for mood, and for something called methylation, which we'll talk about in a moment. Choline helps your liver process fats, which means it protects you from developing a fatty liver. It's a building block for the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, which your brain uses to form memories and think clearly. And for people with certain genetic variations, something a lot of us carry without knowing, choline helps your body repair DNA and remove toxins efficiently. Eggs are one of the richest sources of choline you can eat. And as we age, getting enough of it becomes more and more important, especially if you wanna protect your cognition. Now let's talk about your eyes. Inside every egg yolk, there are two powerful antioxidants, lutein and zeaxanthin. These aren't just floating around randomly, they're concentrated in the retina, the delicate tissue at the back of your eye that allows you to see. These compounds act like natural sunglasses, protecting your retinal cells from damage caused by ultraviolet light and blue light, the kind that comes from screens, LED bulbs, and even sunlight itself. And as we get older and spend more time reading, watching television, or using computers, that protection becomes absolutely vital. But lutein and zeaxanthin don't just protect the eye. Research shows they also support other parts of the brain, helping with memory, learning, and concentration. So when you eat eggs, you're not just nourishing your vision, you're supporting the health of your entire nervous system. Now, I promised I'd explain methylation, and I will, because even though it sounds technical, it's actually quite simple. Methylation is a process that happens billions of times every second in your body. It's how your cells repair damaged DNA, remove toxins, and create the chemical messengers that regulate your mood and energy. Think of it like a maintenance crew working around the clock to keep everything running smoothly. But here's the catch. Many people, possibly even you, carry genetic variations that make this process less efficient. And when methylation slows down, you're more vulnerable to fatigue, brain fog, mood imbalances, and even chronic disease. The good news? Eggs provide three of the key nutrients your body needs to keep methylation running. Choline, natural B12, and folate, all three in their active, usable forms. No synthetic additives, no fillers, just real nutrition that your cells recognize and can put to work immediately. Let's move to your heart, your bones, and your circulation, because eggs support all three in surprising ways. You've probably heard of vitamin K, but there are actually two types, K1, which you get from leafy greens, and K2, which is much harder to find. Eggs contain K2, and it plays a fascinating role. It acts like a traffic cop for calcium, directing it into your bones and teeth where it belongs, and keeping it out of places where it doesn't like your arteries, your joints, and your kidneys. This is especially important as we age, because calcium in the wrong places contributes to stiffness, arterial plaque, and kidney stones. But with enough K2 from foods like eggs, your body knows where to send it. And there's more. Eggs contain compounds that naturally mimic the effects of certain blood pressure medications, specifically something called ACE inhibitors. Now, I'm not saying eggs replace medication, but they can support healthy blood pressure 
as part of a balanced diet, and that's worth knowing. Then there's your immune system. Eggs are rich in the active form of vitamin A called retinol. This isn't the kind you get from carrots or sweet potatoes, which your body has to convert. This is the ready-to-use version, and it's critical for maintaining the health of your internal skin, the mucous membranes lining your sinuses, lungs, and digestive tract. These are your body's first line of defense against infection. Eggs also provide vitamin D, which we all know is essential for bone health. But vitamin D also regulates immune function, reduces inflammation, and supports muscle strength. And for those of us who don't get outside as much as we used to, or who live in northern climates, getting vitamin D from food becomes even more important. So after everything we've just covered, muscle support, brain protection, eye health, detoxification, heart and bone strength, immune resilience. You can see why I call eggs a nutrient pharmacy. They're not just food, they're medicine in the truest, most natural sense. But here's the thing, not all eggs are created equal and the type you choose changes everything. Walk into any grocery store and you'll see a dozen different labels on egg cartons, conventional, cage-free, free-range, organic, pasture-raised, omega-3 enriched. It's overwhelming. So let me break it down in a way that makes sense. Conventional eggs, the least expensive option, come from hens that spend their entire lives in small cages, sometimes no bigger than a sheet of paper. These birds are stressed. They're fed cheap grain, usually genetically modified corn and soy, and the yolks are often artificially colored to look more appealing. The nutrition is there, but it's not optimal. And from an ethical standpoint, it's hard to feel good about supporting that system. Cage-free eggs sound better, and they are slightly. The hens aren't in cages, but they're still crowded together in large barns with limited space and often no access to the outdoors. It's a step up, but not by much. Organic eggs mean the hens are fed grain that's free from synthetic pesticides, herbicides, and fungicides. That's a definite improvement. But organic doesn't tell you anything about how the birds are raised or whether they see daylight. You can have organic eggs from caged hens, which isn't ideal. Now, pasture-raised eggs, this is where things get significantly better. Pasture-raised hens have real access to the outdoors. They get sunlight, they eat bugs and grasses, they move around, and all of that translates into eggs that are richer in omega-3 fatty acids, higher in vitamins, and more flavorful. The yolks are often a deeper orange because of the natural pigments in their diet, not because of added dyes. If your budget allows, pasture-raised is the best choice. And if you can find a local farmer or farmer's market where you can get fresh eggs from someone you trust, that's even better. Some of you may even have the space and ability to keep a few backyard chickens. If you do, you're sitting on a gold mine. But let me be clear about something. If pasture-raised eggs are out of reach financially, don't let that stop you from eating eggs altogether. Even conventional eggs contain enough high-quality protein, healthy fats, and essential nutrients to be far superior to most processed protein products on the market. An egg is still an egg, and eating them in any form is better than skipping them out of fear or perfectionism. Now let's talk about how to get the absolute most benefit out of the eggs you eat, because it's not just what you eat, it's what your body actually absorbs. Here's something most people don't know. If you pair your eggs with a salad made from arugula or other leafy greens, you can increase the absorption of those greens' beneficial compounds by up to nine times. Why? Because many of the nutrients in plants, things like carotenoids and fat-soluble vitamins, need fat to be absorbed, and the yolk in your egg provides exactly that. So if you're eating a big beautiful salad for lunch, add a hard-boiled egg or two. You'll get more out of both. When you cook your eggs, try adding onions. Onions are rich in sulfur compounds that support your body's natural detoxification pathways, the same pathways that depend on good methylation. Sauteing onions with your eggs is a simple, delicious way to boost that benefit. Sprinkle black pepper and sea salt on your eggs. It's not just for flavor. Black pepper contains a compound called piperine, that significantly enhances the absorption of carotenoids, the same antioxidants we talked about for your eyes and brain. And here's a tip about cooking. Don't overdo it. If you're scrambling your eggs, cook them just until they're set. If you're frying them, try to keep the yolk soft and runny. Overcooking destroys some of the heat-sensitive vitamins and oxidizes the fats, which reduces the nutritional value. A gently cooked egg is not only tastier, it's better for you. In the summer, when tomatoes are in season, add them to your eggs. Tomatoes are loaded with lycopene, 
one of the most powerful antioxidants for protecting the lining of your arteries, supporting prostate health, and even guarding against certain types of cellular damage. And just like the greens, lycopene is absorbed much better when you eat it with fat. Avocado is another fantastic pairing. The fats in avocado are incredibly healthy. And because you're eating the whole fruit, you're getting fresh, unprocessed oils that haven't been heated or refined. Most avocado oil on store shelves, unless it's specifically labeled as cold pressed, has been heavily processed and may even be mixed with other oils. So if you want the real benefits of avocado, eat the fruit itself. When it comes to cooking your eggs, I recommend using either olive oil or butter. Both have protective compounds that hold up reasonably well to moderate heat. Just don't let your pan get smoking hot, keep the temperature gentle, and you'll preserve more of the nutrients in both the fat and the eggs. So after everything we've covered today, what does this all mean for your daily life and your long-term health? It means that eggs are not the villain we were once told they were. They don't raise harmful cholesterol. They don't clog your arteries. In fact, they do the opposite. They protect your brain, strengthen your muscles, support your vision, help your body detoxify and repair itself, and provide a clean, efficient source of energy that keeps you steady and satisfied. Pasture-raised eggs offer the highest nutritional value, but even conventional eggs are a far better choice than many of the processed, sugar-laden protein products lining grocery store shelves. And when you pair your eggs with the right foods, greens, onions, tomatoes, pepper, avocado, you multiply their benefits even further. If today's breakdown helped you understand what really happens when you eat three to four eggs daily, I'd love to hear your thoughts. Do you eat eggs every morning? Have you avoided them for years? Share your experience in the comments. Your story might help someone else watching this. And if you found this video helpful, make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on notifications so you never miss new explanations like this. There's so much more to explore when it comes to healthy aging, and I'd be honored to walk through it with you.